So I wasn't in VA, but um, we was in Pennsylvania. Oh, he true. came out for a show, uh, the JI, JI and Benny the Butcher. Yeah. So yo, that was the opportunity there because my boy got us um obviously with him. He, we were there with him the whole time. And when I say we were with him the whole time, we were with all the industry personnel. Oh, so true. obviously high priority people. JI himself, I obviously got to tap in with him. My boy, obviously, you know, I showed him we came from straight from Toronto type shit. And you know, I'm just out here doing my thing. I didn't really have a full convo with him, but you know, like, yo, we I spoke to him, I showed him Wagwan. He was like, yo, Toronto, that's crazy. He's like, word. He's like, all right, bro, for sure. Like, you know, if anything, we go we'll holla and like type shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? 100%. His management team, I got to speak to some of them, got to speak some of, to some of his camera crew. So I wasn't really like focusing on the artist itself. I was more focusing on the people that that are making up that artist himself. So the camera crew. The management, all those people, those are the people I was really keeping my eye on and figuring out who's who because those are the people you really want to try to network with. And if I'm in this, if I'm if I'm in this environment where I'm right beside them, then I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use it to my advantage, yeah. man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mom and again, definitely. shout out to Money Sign Sheed. That was the artist that was performing. Big bro, we got a track actually on Spotify right now. It's called Out the Vault. Make sure you guys go check that out. He actually well, we both made that track in downtown Manhattan. Loud, loud studios, loud studios NYC. So shout out Loud Studios NYC. Yo, they cooked it up. We was like four in the morning. We had no motive. We we're like, yo, these guys have a studio session. And they like with pure heart just said, yo, come through. No. Invited us to the studio session. And not, how did I know that? That night we would have a track with an American artist. <laughs> and that's how it came about. Yeah, wow. And he's a, he's an amazing, he's talented. And he's really, really doing it out there. He's yeah, putting man. on for VA, man. So shout out Money San Sheed. Because that's big bro, for real, for real. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. And we're going we go, we to get some more shit in together, me and him. And we know when we keep going yeah. out there and thing. Because, man, he ain't stopping out there. He's really doing it. So multiple yeah, more man. shows coming. And yeah, on his end, he's putting it out, yeah. out there, man. Yeah, man. And how was like that impact, like, you know, performing all over like Ontario and like the US as well as like in your hometown to, you know, Toronto? It's different, man. It's super different. The people, the crowd, the environment, the setting, it's all different. And when I mean different, I mean different in a in a good way, man. Like, you know, because fam, I'll be real with you. Venues in this city, you go and let's be real, fam. Everywhere you look is a shy state up nigga. You know what I'm saying? Is, is niggas looking grungy or niggas looking like they're there to just come do like some fuckery, you know? And it's like, yo, you can't really like, it's like, yo, this doesn't even feel for professional now. The venue doesn't really feel like, you know, like really musically, you know, you know, like really, that's what they're there for. It just kind of seems yeah. now they're letting, you know, letting whatever. And for me, I look at it like, yo, if we're, if we're really invested in this music, then we should definitely be focused on, we should be focused on focusing on the music. Not what's going on in the streets or what's going yeah. on outside. Let's really push something out of Toronto that the Americans and the rest of the world can really look up to other than Drake and The Weeknd and the little people that we really have. Yeah. Like, uh. you know what I'm saying? So, yo, it's very different, man. It's very different yeah. and I love it out there. Yeah, people man. are more energetic. You can actually have real conversations with people and to be real with you, like, yo, the people, the vibe out there is different, man. They, 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 they in it to work. They're not in it for... Yeah. Yo, like, yo, for money, money grabbing. No, no, no. Yeah, they yeah, actually 100%. are there to work. And yo, if you have that worth ethic, the same mentality, fam, you're good. You're good out there, man. You're yeah, gonna man. network and you're gonna meet people and you're gonna you're gonna hit studios and you're gonna you're gonna make bangers with all these artists because yeah, that's what they're about. Amer yo, the Americans, like from what I've seen now going out there many times, they're about business, bro. They're about their money. But they're also about making real good music to put out to the world. You feel me? Yeah, no. 100%. And I feel that's what Toronto's lacking right now. And I feel Toronto's lacking the collaboration aspect. Yeah. And I feel they're like it's more of just a, a ladder. And everyone's yeah. trying to be at the top of that ladder. And it's difficult because Toronto yeah. right now, if you want to be on the top of that ladder, you gotta realize that you're gonna have to work with people yeah. too. You can't just be the number one and stay number one forever. Yeah. You're going to have to learn to work with people. Yeah, man. So and yeah. I think it's kind of evident with some artists too. Like there are some artists that are open to working with artists from like the States or from the UK too. Yeah. Um, the guy, uh, Bunlow, you know, he had Facts. a song with uh, Payroll Giovanni and all that too. Shout out Bunlow. And if you don't know, he's actually, I'm bringing him out for uh, Dave East. I should shoot. So he's going to be coming out. He's going to be doing a one-two yeah, song. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yo, shout out Bunlow. That's my Latin goal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's really putting off for the Latin community True. too. Latin, the Latin, yeah. though, the Latin community is following him like yeah, he's man. right now he's pushing it for toronto yeah well so shout out big bro shout out manito you know bonlo so man 
Yeah, what were you saying though? I forgot you were saying um, something about Bunlo. Uh, yeah, Bunlo, like he worked with Pier- uh, Payroll Giovanni and all that too. Um, yep, big names. Yeah, crazy thing too. Um, it might be controversial, but top five, Pedro Activated. Yep. A lot of American artists too. You're not going to get some Toronto artists, like maybe like what, Bundog and YG and Pressa, but Facts. he had Asian Doll, uh, Lil Zay Osama, Nardo Wick, G Herbo, Draco yep. the Ruler. And even if it's like the most controversial right now, like even recording in... Uh, Ontario prison, you know, he's still making moves, like having those people too. Like you don't see other Toronto artists like have American features like that unless like they're throwing in like a lot of money and all that, you know? Yeah, no, I feel you. Um, no, you're right, man. Like, again, like shit, like for that, yeah. like it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like shit, like it's, it's one of those ones where um, I just feel that it needs to be much more collaboration in this city, man. Yeah, 100% too. <laughs> it's yeah. not like, it, it's not really like hard to express. Like, yeah. fuck, like, everyone in this city just doesn't seem to be getting along. Yeah. And if certain areas and certain people were to get along, fuck, dog, we'd be making a whole lot of hella good music. Yeah, no, and you know what I'm saying? We'd actually still have a lot of people still here yeah. till this day making good music and yeah. would be really far right now and probably put on for the like us that are coming up now. No, you know what I'm saying? Too, so, yeah. Um, yeah there's... I mean, Toronto really doesn't have like a double XL freshman. I think they're relying on double XL to see like which artist, Toronto artist is going to make it. Yeah. If there's actually going to be like a magazine for a uh, Toronto double XL freshman, I mean, you'd be on it. I mean, Dr. Bushman, he'd be on it. Bushman's killing it. Yeah. He's, he's oh. doing his thing. Yeah. I got, oh. yo, if you oh. know what I'm saying? Like I got to tap in with bro. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I see him. He's do he's doing yeah, big things. He's sure, working sure. with big artists in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Nah, hundred percent too. Um, just getting onto this other question uh, right now. Do you have like any interesting, crazy tour stories uh, while touring? And like, you know, what's some do's and don'ts uh, for an artist like that's touring? Like, I don't know if you had like any like groupy experiences, even though it might be like a little bit uneasy right now to speak to speak it like in the room and all that too. But if yeah. you had like any story, like, do you want to share that? In? Yo, like, you want you want you want a big tip for touring? Yo, bring your pillow. <laughs> bring your fucking pillow. Cause I'll tell you right now, yeah. you ain't sleeping if you don't bring your pillow, dog. Cause you're gonna be in a you're gonna yeah. be on a bed, you're gonna be on a couch, you're gonna be on a hotel bed, you're gonna be on something, you're gonna be sleeping all over the place. Cause when you're on tour, like, or when you're going everywhere, like yeah. there's no time for rest. And Not when sure. you do get to rest, it's only for a little bit. And you don't know where the fuck you're about to pass out. But if you bring your pillow, you'll get some sleep and you'll be still focused for the tour. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like shit, like I don't know, like fuck. That's just that that's yeah. me. Like, you know, for me, rest is is a big thing. Like, yo, yeah, if man. I don't sleep, fuck. Yo. And if I don't eat, yo, fam. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, like, yo, before every show on tour, wanna know some fun yo, fun fact. I make sure that I eat a full meal right before I go up on stage. Yeah, bro. Cause yo, when I'm up on stage, sometimes I be thinking about like being hungry. And yeah. I don't know why, but like, yo, I'm I just, true. you know, I'd be fucking hungry. So what I do is I it's make true. sure I eat before my yeah, shows, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever see me eating before my show, just know because when I'm out there rapping for you guys on the stage, I'm, I'm also ten, thinking yeah. about food because I'm hungry after, you know? Yeah, man. So let me just, yeah, let me fill like, my appetite before the show and do a good show for you guys. And then I'll eat after too. Yeah. Cause you know, <laughs> likewise. And like, um, you like, I mean, I think there was like this other tour that was supposed to happen. Uh, the Young Smoke tour. Is it still happening? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, coming up. It's coming up. Dates are going to be announced soon uh, when I'm going to be, when I'm going to uh, be out there performing. Yo, I got to shout out Young Smoke, bro. If it wasn't for Broski, I wouldn't have a lot of opportunities too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For him putting me on his tour as well. On yeah. multiple tour dates, which is super lit. So, uh, yo, shout out Young Smoke. Yo, big bro, you're really doing it, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Keep pushing. You got the fucking industry on locks, fam. Let's, yeah. let's, yo, let's get it, fam. Let's yeah. get it. Yeah, likewise, man. And like, you know, even hitting from di- different city to city, because I mean, you were all over Ontario and like, yep. you know, in the States too. Province so, like, wide, yeah. I like, mean, also like there was like this whole situation too. I think Tony Ayo spoke on this, like in his Vi TV interview when he went to certain parts of Canada where there's a lot of shit going on too with Hells Angels and like Facts. the Bundog type stuff yep. too and like all that other type of stuff too. It's like kind of crazy, you know, so. Yeah, man, no, for sure. Like again, artists do have to be careful everywhere they go. Toronto mm-hmm. is not a nice place. It's not all yeah. peaches and cream. Like at the end of the day, you you better walk 10 toes when mm-hmm. you're out in the city anywhere because it don't matter where you are. It's just, it's Toronto fam. Simple. Uh-huh. I ain't even going to get into it. It's just Toronto. Simple. Yeah, so likewise. just stay 10 toes, man. Yeah, you man. know, but um, yeah, like, yeah, like straight up. That's what it is. It's, yeah. uh, it's, yeah, man. Yeah, oh. 100% too. 